but I guess it started off by being what you might call an invitation orchestra. It started almost by accident in terms of my sort of um, revival of the orchestra in that we were asked to make some records for Shandos, the Congo Symphony, and it was fairly short notice. I said, I'll put the orchestra together myself. And it was January, most people were free, everybody was free. And so I ended up having all my favorite people in the orchestra. And I, I guess it's an orchestra of musicians who all think the same way about music. We've got lots of principles from you know, important orchestras, uh, lots of string quartet players, lots of soloists on various chairs. So it, I, I always feel that when we start rehearsals or we're, we're making a record, I'm in a room with musicians who are tuned to exactly the same kind of wavelength. Well, the size of the orchestra is dictated by the programme, and the program, the programmes are chosen uh, over a period of time, multiple conversations. I always think building a programme is a series of circles, and it's the bit of the circles that overlap that gives you the, you know, the, the final programme. What do the Aubra Festival want? Which artists are already in place? What do I want to do, what do I think the orchestra can do well and eventually after endless back and forth you, you, you settle on, on programs which uh, have enough variation and are, are, are you know in, in this instance two completely different programs which, which have different moods within them which have a, a narrative um, and that dictates the size of the orchestra so I suppose it was the big works of Rachmaninoff, Respighi and Elgar, which dictated the size of the orchestra. is quite big for that stage, but I have done even bigger works in that hall. And it always sounds, it sounds glorious. And I think of all the halls, it seems to me to be the hall that changes most once you get an audience. Subscribe to Marquee TV for unlimited access to the world's best performing art.